lovely friends. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, this is our show. This is my show, Susanna Medium. And I'm coming live to you. Coming live. Uh, of course, we are live. Coming live to you from the UK. Um, thank you very much for joining me. I'm your host, Susanna Herchuk, and I'm a psychic, a medium, an intuitive teacher, a coach, a healer, and a therapist. And I'm just saying this in case that is the very, very first time you are joining here. So thank you very much for being here. Now, this is a very, very special show today. All of them are very, very special to me. But this is the last one of this year, December 2021. And I know, you know, sometimes I mention what show I am presenting to you. And I need to tell you, today is the 44th episode, 4-4. Uh, episode of this show. So it's quite beautifully timed with these angelic numbers. So it's really, really beautiful. And now I need to tell you, you know, if you have been watching and following my shows, you know this very well that I can, I have a lot of ideas. I always have a lot of ideas. And sometimes, sometimes it happens that all these ideas come to me the days before, you know, leading up to Tuesdays, the ideas come to me. And this was the case for this show. I had a lot of, lot of ideas because I wanted to talk to you the angelic numbers. I wanted to talk to you about the end of year and nearly celebrating my first year here on the Aspa Radio. So I'm going to talk to you about that as well. I also wanted to talk to you about being a Capricorn. You know, so if you are a fellow Capricornian, come and visit my Facebook page because the other day I recorded something. I'm so passionate about talking to you about being a Capricorn and what it means. So probably I will touch base, um, base with you on this in this show if, if, my, if the energy leads us to, to that conversation. And I also wanted to talk to you about, you know, all these wonderful opportunities here on the Aspa Radio Network, even on Psychic Radio and Moonstrike TV. And you know, from, from time to time, I repeat it, I mentioned this to you, that if you are interested in any of the previous shows, the replays, you can just go to askoneradio.com and find the archive section, and then it drops down, it shows you all the presenters, and all you can, you can it's beautifully set, put together, you can find all the shows, so you can go and listen to some of, well, all of the previous shows. I have presented here and um, and also the podcast, you know, so if you are listening or watching, you know, so it's over there, it's over there, it's over there, you can find that. And then just one, one thing, susannamedium.com and social media, it's always Susanna Medium. So here we go. I'm just going to put this one to the side, but then you see something has happened. And then if you have been listening to my shows, you know that you know, sometimes just very last minute, something comes up on my timeline and everything what was working around me energetically, you know, the whole show was ready and everything was ready in my, in my mind, not as a script, but then ideas, you know, energies and ideas. But then sometimes last minute things happen and I have to feel the energy. And then I know that when those things come to me, it means that somewhere out there, you would be, there would be one or two people or maybe communities who are experiencing that energy. You know? So it's a, it's, it's a very shared experience, you know, a very shared experience of being human, to be honest. So I wanted to talk to you about all different things, but then I, my energy or the energy takes me to talking to you about what have what has just happened a few hours ago? Now I'm going to fix this one because it's going to be interesting here. Here we go. So what has just happened a few hours ago? Now, of course, we live in communities. And I think the fourth episode here, I talked to you about communities, spiritual communities. But about two or three hours ago, I received a news of somebody's passing. Not my family member, but somebody in the community. And of course, you know, when, when you are a medium, you've got one, one um, opportunity to work with the energy. And then as a human, we respond as, as we would respond humans, human, you know? And then that was my initial 
uh, response, this in initial energy. And I was really thinking, should I start talking about that, you know, that, that energy, or should I just continue talking about number 44, last episode, and all the shows, and all the, what is happening next year, what we are creating for next year, and all that, or maybe take some live callers, and I love doing that, you know, when I'm here. But then the energy remained with this conversation, what I needed to experience. So I'm going to share about that. So this beautiful, beautiful lady, past who was part of our community and you see today could have been her 74th birthday so the family was ready her children her grandchildren and her great grandchildren were ready to celebrate and i know that within that family that day is always beautifully celebrated regardless of the fact that we just had christmas here so that's one celebration but then they always celebrate, they make the effort to celebrate um, her birthday. And the interesting thing, and I'll tell you what, this, that's why I'm saying this, that, that is the reason. Because before Christmas, as I was walking around in town, I met this lady. Now, you need to know a few years ago, um, when, when, I, when I knew the family a little bit more, or we had more interaction, I would have this lady sometimes coming to, to my home for a cup of tea and a little chit chat, especially the time when she moved into our town. So that, you know, helping her to settle in the community. And it was always beautiful because sometimes we shared or, you know, doing reading, or not readings, um, healing, Re Reiki healing with her. So I remember her energy. And just before Christmas, when I met her in town, she was uh, pushing her little, you know, the little thing what 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 uh, elderly people push, they can put their shopping into a little buggy, you know, she was pushing, and then she was just walking slowly and quietly. And she felt really her energy felt really relaxed. And she was quite content in the energy how you know, how she was. And she, I know that she's been quite independent because she can find her way on the bus and travel around town and so on. And being part of communities, different communities. And in the very moment when I noticed her, we passed each other. She did not notice me, and but I noticed her. And suddenly I was thinking in that moment, shall I just pause and 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 then go back and go after her and maybe start talking to her? You're asking, you know, how how are you? It's lovely to see you. How is everything? How is your family? And so on. Are you ready for Christmas? You know, all the general chit chats. But I did not do that. And the more the most peculiar thing was that, you know, when I'm talking to you about light and love and community, I caught myself standing there, stopping and standing. And just noticing that that energy just passes and noticing myself, having that awareness that, that, yes, I could do that, but I am not doing it. Because immediately I had, on the other side, I had conversations that maybe she does not want to talk. Maybe she's not recognizing me because my hair color changed or last time we saw each other. Or maybe she's just timing herself to get to the bus or, you know, all these conversations. And by the time I turned back again, she was gone. She is gone. And then as I was standing there, I was really feeling into that experience that, oh my goodness me, I'm talking about love and passing the light. And then even myself, sometimes I can catch myself in moments of, okay, what happened? What happened? But the interesting thing was that I had that moment of awareness that I caught myself doing it or being being that way. So I said to myself, you know, okay, I missed this opportunity after Christmas, I will catch up with the family or catch up with her, knowing that her birthday is coming up now after Christmas, which is today. And then and then, and actually at the same time, I immediately thought, this how interesting. I hadn't hadn't seen this lady, and now we are just passing each other, you know. How interesting. And then she was really angelic in her energy, really content and peaceful. And this, and just a few hours ago, when I when I got the news, sad news of her passing, then it really, the energy really dropped for me. You know, it really, because I realized that, oh my goodness me, that's why our paths, you know, that's why our paths is crossed, crossed each other. 
because there is an opportunity to talk to the person, to have a light, to have love, to share, to, to exchange some, some words, to really ask, you know, how she is doing or, 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 or the rest. But that opportunity was missed because I missed it, because conversations on my other side. And of course, I responded to the news as, as a human would respond. And of course, I was feeling the pain in my heart because I realized that, oh my goodness me, that was an opportunity and I missed the opportunity. And then it also reminded me of, of you know, all those events when, when the time when I'm visiting my own family, you know, back in Hungary, back in Hungary, yeah, when, you know, where we are traveling and doing all the wonderful things. And I remember a few years ago, I was really drawn to visiting one uncle whom I had not seen for about 30 years or 35 years or something like that. But then I really felt that that year I needed to visit. I needed to ask somebody, another family member, to help me to take the bus and explain how I get there and all the, all the various routes I had to figure out, had to figure out. But, but I really felt I needed to visit. Uh, that family member, that uncle, my, my father's um, uh, brother, actually. And when I visited, of course, there was healing in the family. And there is a reason why my soul was going with the flow. Because when I came home, I think even in the same year, it happened that that gentleman, that uncle passed. And I really said to this family, family member who helped me together and organize the visit that, oh my goodness, oh goodness me, that's why I had to go there. That's why that was that, that nudge, that inclination that you have to do something. And, and I was just so grateful that I listened, I listened to that energy that, yes, we have to do that. And then you see, at the same time, at the same time, when something like this happens, then we feel, those of us who are here and who, who don't do anything, we feel the guilt, we feel all the emotions, you know, and we feel it in our emotional body, in our physical body, and we feel the energy of the other people, the rest of the family who are experiencing the big event. But my invitation, and I, I feel that that's why I, I needed to bring this conversation here today uh, for you to you know, to really feel into that energy. So anytime when you feel that, oh, I'm feeling a nudge to call somebody or visiting somebody, or you see something is at the back of my mind, you know, we can have a very busy life, but then that thought, that nudge, that feeling is coming, coming to us. Then we just need to go with that. We need to, we so need to follow that because one way or another, we are getting that that link, we are getting that, that energy that we need to be there for the other one and we need to do something. We need to be there. We just need to be. So it means that we need to take some actions. Maybe it means that we need to organize a day trip. Maybe it means that we need to organize ourselves and cutting out all the thoughts in our mind and turn around and ask the person how they, they, they are or how their life um, have, uh, have been, because we just never know, you know, we just never know. Now, of course, there is a, the time, you know, the time, what we have here. And then the time when we come here, of course, we are celebrating it. And then we celebrate the various points when people come together when new families are being created and babies are born and all the various wonderful things and people completing big missions and achievement and, and we celebrate that. But when we get to the point of facing that conversation that actually, yes, there will be a point in time when it's going to end and then that was it. And I'm breathing once and I'm breathing next and I'm gone. And I was actually thinking about, um, about this since I got this call this afternoon, that, you know, we can think about this. I mean, I'm not going to talk about really in detail and how we manage because that's big, that's a big conversation. But while I'm seeing this, um, that we need to have that awareness, you know, because especially if you are coming from certain, certain traditions, certain upbringings, certain beliefs, you know, they are really, really big in our lives. 
if he choose to experience them in that way. So we can actually, I was thinking about that. My understanding is that we can say that, yes, I'm accepting that that is part of my life. And then that is that, that and then that is my time or somebody else's time, then I am, you know, I am accepting it. But there is another way of saying actually there are two things here. One of them is that I know that is part of my life, but I am in denial and I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think about it and I don't want to talk about it. And I'm blocking the energy because I say I'm going to deal with it when it is going to be the time. So that's way, that is one way. And the other one is that. Yes, I have the awareness, I recognize as part of my life, and I have the awareness to know better that when it happens, what is happening to me and what is happening to all the people who remain here and energetically what is happening uh, with the higher frequencies and dimensions. And you see, we can live our lives being this way and being that way. Now, please notice how I'm using the word being because it's, it's, it's to do with our being, you know? Awareness is to do with our being. What we do afterwards, all the actions, how we are choosing to turn back or how we are choosing to visit a person or how we are choosing to block a person and when they pass on, then we have regret and all the emotions and because we cannot turn things back, we cannot change things. So, Everything, all the, the, the awareness is to do with our own being. You know? So my invitation is, if you feel that in your environment, especially in family, the closed ones, if you have any of that energy that you feel that you need to attend or you feel that there is that nudge leading you to needing to attend, and it's not because you have to or you need to, but then you feel within yourself that, that that is that is what you need to do you know that is your being and that is what you need to do then we just need to be that way we need to be that way if we have any kind of mind conversation any kind of i don't know ego nagging conversation or anger or unexpressed past related or everything then we have to deal with those things while we are here. Because once we go and uh, listen, that's why it's good. We are talking about this. And then if you are here listening, then it's good that you are listening because, you know, when I'm, when I'm uh, bringing mediumistic evidence, concrete evidence and messages, that's, and that's why it's so beautiful to, to be able to work with the energy. That knowing that once we pass, when the soul moves on, when, when you know when we leave our physical, leave our physical body and we move on, then there is a different reality. And being able to tune into that reality and being able to bring you the messages in the form of words or healing. And well, birds are birds are healing. They're there, they are there for you to heal. So whichever whichever um, the way they come, but then they come to heal. And being able to tune into those energies and those, those frequencies of those who have passed from the physical realm, they say that that yes, I have moved on and I'm feeling and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better. My pain is gone. And I'm here to help you and I'm here to guide you. Now while I was thinking about this show, it also came to me that I took a piece of memory. When I was a child, about seven or eight or maybe six, I was always like little. And I remember going to the countryside, there was somebody's funeral and it was winter. So in Hungary, it means it's a cold winter, it's snowing and it's cold. And then you are just asking, why are we here? And then you meet people you have never met and then you know family members. Suddenly you've got this big family over there you have never met and then you don't know who is who, but then there is someone's funeral, so as a part of family, you are there. And I know certain traditions and in all the times in Hungary, people would be doing this big, big crying and, and mourning and it's fully expressed. And then I know that if there are not no, not enough female or women in the family who would be doing the crying and then that energy, releasing that energy for, for the family 
if there are not enough of them, then there will be others coming from the community and then they would surround the family and they would be doing the mornings, the, the, the more morning, yes, the morning. They would be the ones who are crying and expressing everything. And I remember as a, as a small child, completely frozen because it was winter and witnessing this, of course, I could not make sense of everything what was happening there, but it, it stayed with me because I know certain religion, certain religions, certain faiths, certain traditions, we are allowing ourselves to express, express our feelings and our, our what is happening, how we are experiencing that, that event. And we just need to know that it's very much of part of our life. And then when we know that, or when we have that awareness that that is going to happen to all of us, and then it's happening in our community, we need to have we need to work on ourselves first of all. You know, we have to work through the healing. We need to touch base with certain certain past events or certain emotions or anything what is there for all of us. We need to work at it because when an event as, as like this comes up or it comes in our personal life, then we need to be able to be strong emotionally, mentally, and physically. We need to be strong. Not just for all of us, but then for, for, for the rest of the community. And it's interesting because I'm feeling it in my throat, energy in my throat, throat area, that we definitely need to express. So if it when it comes to us, that even comes to us, then we definitely need to be in a space of whatever whatever I'm experiencing, I need to be able to express it. Otherwise, I'm bring, I'm building things in my in my own physical, emotional, and mental mental body. So I thought that was important for me to share about. And then by all means, I'm sending sending blessings and prayers to that family and to all of you who have had that experience this year because um, how consciousness had have been, not consciousness, spirit consciousness, how they are giving the information that especially the last few years that people or energies are taking themselves when of course when they are ready to move on and then you know they start, we always sign up for a contract and when that ends then we move on but then there is that energy of old energy going out and the new energy is coming in and then that is very much part of a cycle here and it's interesting i'm saying cycle because i know with a few minutes here left i started this conversation with the cycle of being here for one year, it's going to be one year, I think on the 12th of January. So I'm really looking forward to having a little cake for myself with one little, little candle there to, to celebrate that occasion. And it's quite interesting. And I just wanted to say this, it's quite interesting because I know that Reverend Elliot also on this network who is celebrating his 10th anniversary this week. And last week's show, he was talking about how he's preparing for the celebration and how beautiful that, that he has been here. So Reverend Elliot, if you happen to listen to this little clip here, I'm sending you much love and many, many blessings so that you are going to enjoy many, many, many decades on this network here. And then it's, it's quite, quite fabulous because when I was listening to his show, realizing that, oh, we are Capricorns and we are the ones who love talking and communicating. And then, you know, we are the ones who feel that, oh, we've got this mission to save the world and to help everybody and to lift everybody. And then we see the world in a unique and interesting and quite peculiar way sometimes. And then we are the ones, you know, sometimes, especially if we if Capricorn, the Capricorns we got here, uh, that we have to communicate, and it's so so beautiful because because this this conversation, this setup, what we have here, and me being here now, for, for, have been here for a for a year, have has given me so much opportunity to communicate to communicate, and just interesting because with uh, with Reverend Elliot, he had the story that he wasn't thinking he had I think a, a microphone he just purchased for his computer to start talking about various things and start doing the podcast. And then he was invited. And my story has been actually quite similar to that. And then while I'm seeing this, because I'm not seeing everybody's invited to do their own podcast and talk about various things, especially here on, 
the earth number one psychic radio of my goodness me i'm still pinching myself to know that i am alive and i'm experiencing it in real life but what i'm saying is that the, when opportunity comes your way you take it you look at it you know because we are here and we are living and when opportunities come our way we need to take it and you know it cannot just be that okay i'm not taking it because i'm waiting for something better you now every opportunity which comes our way it comes our way because we need to experience it and we may we might be entertaining that idea for a couple of weeks a couple of months a couple of years but at least we are taking it because there is a learning in it you know and when it's energy for its course then there will be something else given to us as the next opportunity so it's interesting how we started the conversation because one in a cycle a cycle of life it's interesting my head started doing this usually the cycle of life goes around you know how we, we, we see it and now, now as we are approaching the end of the year my invitation to you you know feel into your year you know what you have achieve what made you really really happy and content and possibly you know what is the thing what you might be experiencing or sensing or tuning into more as we step into 2021 so that is the invitation uh, so i think my show my last show in december 2021 is coming to its end so my lovely lovely friends thank you very much for being here come to my facebook page this is a medium where I usually do live readings and various things and, and Zoom parties and different things because the most beautiful thing is not just when I can be here and talk to you about various things, but then when I'm working with your energy and um, I am being blessed and I'm feeling very honored to have been here um, uh, for, for, for now a year, you know, and being, to, being able to talk to you. So my lovely friends, I am sending you lots of love, many, many blessings. Walk around with your heart, with, with your heart. Feel the world, world through your heart. And I'm going to do the same as well. So sending you lots of love, many, many blessings. Can come back next week. It's going to be January 2022. And have a happy, happy new year. Lots of love to you. Thanks. Bye.